Hello everybody, hope you're all okay and you've been having a wonderful day. I'm here in the SEALs class reading den, ready to read to you again. Um, but before I start, I wanted to ask you, what was something recently that's made you feel really, really happy? Can you think of anything? The last thing I did where I thought, oh, I'm really, really happy right now, was um, last weekend, it was my husband's birthday. Now then, as lots of you know, when you have a birthday during a lockdown like this, there's not a lot you can do to celebrate really, is there? You um, can't go out visiting anywhere. You can't go to um, have a big party somewhere. So we were thinking, oh, what can we do to make this really special for, um, for the birthday? And uh, we decided that we would have a party. Now, obviously, we couldn't invite anyone to our party. So there was just me and my husband, who it was his birthday, and our two boys, who some of you know are called Rowan and Ned, and they're a bit younger than you, so they're still little. And so it's just the four of us. And we thought, well, we need to make this really fun. So the boys and I made a cake for Daddy, of course. You've got to have a cake at a birthday. And we bought lots of special food that we don't have very often to make it feel really special. And we decorated the living room with lots of balloons and some bunting. And we wore party hats. And uh, we organised some pass the parcel and... Um, uh, musical statues to play and we had a little disco and a dance and it was really really fun and even though it was just the four of us in our living room and we're like that all the time at the moment because we can't go anywhere um even though it was just normal in some ways we made managed to make it really special and doing really special fun things with the people you love can really help you feel happy can't it so, what I wanted to read to you today was not a story, but actually a non-fiction book, so an information book. And this one is all about feeling happy. Everybody feels happy. And I've got a few of these books that talk about all the different feelings that we can get. Because e even in the course of one day, you can feel lots of different ways, can't you? Sometimes it can be a good feeling, sometimes it can be a not-so-good feeling... Sometimes it lasts a long time, sometimes it only lasts a short time and then you feel a bit different. Um, and all of those feelings are totally okay. However you're feeling, it's okay. And we all have these different feelings for lots of different reasons. And um, so I thought we'd read a few books that explore a bit more about our feelings. So I thought we'd start off today with Everybody Feels Happy. Feeling happy. Can you see the word happy in the middle? And then we've got lots of arrows coming out. Everybody feels happy sometimes. You might feel happy if someone is kind to you and makes you feel good. Or if you are kind and helpful to someone and make them feel good. You might feel happy if you spend time with your family. And that's a bit like what I was telling you about, wasn't it? You might feel happy if you do something that's lots of fun. And you might feel happy if you have something exciting to look forward to. How it feels. Are you bubbling with fizzy fun? Is your smile really wide? Do you feel full of sunshine? That sounds great. That sounds happy. See this boy here, he's so happy, he's reaching his arms up. It looks a bit like he might be saying, hooray! So we've got two little stories in this book to um, explore feeling happy. So the first story is called Happy Boy. Hi, I'm Ethan. I woke up feeling very excited as I was going on holiday. Woohoo! I was so happy I had a bubbly, fizzy feeling inside and I danced around the breakfast table. I helped to pack my bag and I took it straight to the car. I wanted to go straight away. 
let's go. I went on holiday with mum, dad and my brother Jack. We did lots of things we'd never done before. We tried new kinds of ice cream. We collected shells on the beach. We got really good on our body boards riding on the waves. Every day was packed with things to do. I took photos and saved lots of tickets and leaflets from the places I visited on holiday. When I got home, I stuck them in a scrapbook. Every time I look at my scrapbook, I remember the holiday we had together and I feel happy all over again. So that's the first story. I wonder if any of you have a scrapbook or do you have anywhere, not necessarily a book, but maybe a special box where you keep lots of things that, um, that remind you of somewhere happy or something you've done that's made you feel happy. Perhaps you have a photograph or a little souvenir or memento or something that reminds you how you feel happy, uh, reminds you of a time when you felt really happy. It's a really lovely thing to do. And whenever you're feeling a bit down, you can look back a bit and remind yourself of those happy times. So here's the next story. Happy girl. Hello. I'm Sophie. I have a lot of fun with my friends and that makes me feel happy. One day I made two bracelets for my friend Chloe. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? I used her favourite colours, blue and yellow. She's really thought um, about what the person she's giving the bracelets to, what they might like, hasn't she, and chosen their favourite colours. That's really thoughtful. When she saw them, she smiled, and so did I. Mum said she could see happiness shining from our smiley faces. Wow, thanks, Sophie. Then I thought I would pass on some more happiness. I asked Mum if we could make some cupcakes, and I gave one to my friend Omar. Ooh, thanks. When my friend Ethan came round to play, I lent him one of my comics. This is great! It had a story about his favourite superhero. So she's been very generous with all of her friends, isn't she? She's um, making things for them and giving them things and sharing things with them, especially if it's something she knows they really like. The next day, Chloe gave me some bracelets that she had made. Omar gave me one of his mum's delicious pastries. And Ethan gave me a pretty shell he had found on holiday. My friends had passed happiness back to me. It made me feel warm inside. So not only had um, Sophie passed on the happiness to her friends by making or giving or sharing things with them, um, but when she did that for them, it also gave her some happiness as well. Helping someone else to feel happy actually makes you feel happy as well. It's really, really um, special the way that happens, isn't it? Happiness. Ethan felt really happy looking forward to his holiday and he made a scrapbook so that he could remember the happy time he'd had. Sophie passed on happiness by doing kind things for her friends. Then she got it back when her friends did thoughtful things for her. So those last pages are just giving us a little summary of each of those stories about happiness. So I wonder if you could have a think about the last thing that made you feel really happy. Was it something similar to one of our stories about Ethan or Sophie or was it something really different? It's a lovely, lovely feeling, happiness. We don't feel happy all the time. That's normal. Life isn't perfect. Uh, but the important thing is that we do feel happiness sometimes and that we can help others feel happy too. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a happy day and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.